So I begin my second week here in Phoenix. Now in just eight short days, I've noticed a heck of a lot of acceptance for who I am. I feel accepted for my sexual orientation. I feel accepted for my uh, health choices in terms of eating choices. I um, had to ask my uh, office to uh, change um, an air freshener because I was reacting badly to it. I got accepted for that. I got accepted for not wanting to take this pharmaceutical drug that has been pushed on us over the last two years. I got accepted for my choice of recreation. Uh, I got accepted for um, uh, differences in ways of life. Uh, and one thing I'm really going to enjoy that I didn't get to enjoy back in Seattle is um, I was working at a tutoring center back home in Seattle when um, my boss and I um, broke down in communication. He, he, he wouldn't let me know what was happening behind the scenes and as a result I often had to scramble last minute. Uh, I haven't run into that at my new job here despite being even newer than over there. And even if I did over here, it would not be a big bother because Phoenix is my vacation destination, right? If I don't, one of the problems I ran into in Seattle was that I wanted to see what would be the best time to go on vacation, but I often wouldn't get it till last minute. And so I wouldn't be able to come to Phoenix, go to the Gdansk Bay, Poland, or whatever the situation is. But here it would just be an unexpected vacation day, which is fine, right? I get to go to the Desert Botanical Garden. Uh, get myself tanned and whatnot, right? Although I haven't run into that over here. And it got me thinking, we love to talk about being progressive over in Seattle. Here in Phoenix, we don't talk about it, we actually practice it. There was another difference that I noticed here in Phoenix. So over in Seattle, we seem to think it's a great idea to have a law that requires your work to give you a half hour break if you work four or five hours in a row. I can't remember the exact numbers. It's a bad law anyway, so I'm not gonna really pay attention to the details of it. Here in Arizona, there's no such thing. You can work eight hours in a row without a break. You can work 24 hours without a break if that's what you and your employer decide on. Now here's the thing. The problem with the philosophy over in Washington is they require a break whether or not it benefits you and your employer. So for example, a lot of times I love to do intermittent fasting anyway. And so having a half hour break, one hour break, just makes the day a whole lot longer than it has to be, right? Some, it, it actually works against me when I'm trying to do intermittent fasting sometimes. Because what could have been eight to four, and then I could go break my fast at four to create a, uh, see I usually stop eating around 11 p.m. That would create a 17 hour fast, which is perfect. That's about the time that I like to break the fast. Now it becomes 18 hours, which is hard for me to push through, and a lot of times I give up and eat during that one hour break. So it actually works against me, right? That's the first problem. It might not be what the two of you want anyway, right? I'm sure my boss would love to close up shop early too. That's the first problem. The second problem is there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? Pun intended. There's no such thing as a free lunch. That lunch break comes at the cost of vacation days. It comes at the cost of potentially money, I don't know, whatever whatever other thing that you might want, right? And Arizona doesn't ban you from having that break. You could still talk to your boss and say, uh, can we figure out a lunch break, right? It's Seattle that restricts you, right? You could still do everything you do in Seattle here in Arizona, right? All right, anyways, um, in eight days, I, I feel really accepted for who I am, and I finally can work that eight-hour shift in a row and get off early, right? Thanks for watching.